Welcome to My Long Island TV. From Manhasset to Montauk, we have traveled our communities to bring you the following events. I'm your host, Waldo Cabrera. My Long Island TV starts now. Garland Girl Incorporated. We've been in business for 11 years and what we make are flower headdresses that are reproductions of floral hair accessories from many different ages. And in the case of Scotland, being that this is a Scottish Games, flower crowns were worn for maypole dances and weddings. During the Victorian era, which is the turn of the century, the beginning of the 19th century when Queen Victoria reigned for about 45 years, she loved flowers. They had gardens all over in England, partly because of her. And she actually alone started adding significance to the flowers and giving them meanings. She was a very sentimental lady and she lost her husband at a young age. You know, so she ended up as a young queen reigning for 45 years. So she spent a lot of time in her garden. They invested a lot of money and time in developing English gardens in particular. Uh, there are certain colors of flowers that do have different meanings. Of course, you know, red is almost always associated with love. Um, blue is a, a thoughtful color, a melancholy color. Blue is also the most popular color for men in America. Um, yellow is a traditional color of peace, and white almost always symbolizes purity. In fact, it's because of Queen Victoria that white is actually the color of weddings. That was a new tradition. In different countries, white is actually the color of death, like in China, for example. So it's, um, it just depends on where you are all over the world. There's different meanings for flowers. So I actually started my business doing live flowers. But given that people tend to spend the day enjoying all the cultural aspects of this, this and other festivals, you want flowers that are going to last. So then I moved to dried flowers, and then dried flowers with silk accents. And that's still more time consuming, even though it's the most traditional way of weaving flowers. Um, it's still more time consuming because it is a true handicraft. Yeah, I love them. I have 15 at home. I buy one every year and I'm finally old enough to work, so I got hired. And they're just beautiful. They're absolutely gorgeous. And they're handcrafted, which you can't get better than that. Instead of buying something that's pre-made, it's made by hand and it's gorgeous. Uh, we're Scottish and we're proud of it. We were just looking at the tartans over there for uh, an upcoming wedding. <laughs> I think all women look angelic. We've got goddesses, we've got princesses. We have princesses in the making to be goddesses. A gala gamorsh. And what does it mean? I love you. <laughs> Thank you.